We're going to take you through some prenatal friendly exercises you can do with an exercise ball. Vicky's going to lie down on her back and bring her heels onto the ball about hip distance apart. The first one we're going to do is a hamstring curl. She's going to use her arms to assist her palms down, spread the fingers nice and wide, press into your hands and gently lift the hips. Only have to lift about an inch off or you can go as high as you want. From here, you're going to bend your knees and draw the ball towards your button. Very nice and then slowly extend it back out. Good. So you can keep going, bending the knees, drawing it in towards your butt and if it feels a little too unstable, the ball, you can have a friend hold the ball, make sure it's tracking nice and easily. Go ahead and lower your hips down and rest. Good. The next one we're going to do is called bridge on the ball. She's going to start with her hips down, bend the knees, draw the ball towards the butt. Very good. And now pressing through the whole of the foot, you're going to press into your hands, gently lift the hips again as high as is comfortable for you, and then slowly bring it back down. And you can continue to lift your pelvis and slowly lower. This one's going to tone your backside. You'll get a little bit of engagement in your hamstrings and calves as well as the whole back of the body. Also watch with this one that the knees stay pretty much parallel. They don't want to go too far out or knock knees too much. This can also be done against the wall. If you feel like the ball is a little too unstable, just press the ball against the wall. It'll stay for you. The last one we're going to demonstrate is an inner thigh exercise. She's going to bring her heels onto the ball. Legs will stay nice and straight, but the toes will turn out. Good. Flex the feet a little bit more so the toes go towards your nose. That's it. And again, using the arms to assist, you're going to squeeze in on the ball and lift the pelvis at the same time. Good, and slowly lower it down. I like to call this one inner thighs, but also pop the zit, because she is working really, really hard to press her heels together and pop the zit on the ball. It's a fun exercise. <laughs> Good, and then slowly lower it down. Very nice. If lying your back starts to bother you, you start to feel faint or dizzy, just very gently take your feet off the ball. You're going to roll to your left and fetal and gently use your arms to assist you to sit up and that sensation should pass.